What's up guys, welcome to my channel today. We are back with some of the reaction for the Jobless Reincarnation Season 2, Episode 23. Alright guys, last episode, definitely the most tragic episode, okay? I mean, I know, look, I, I was blaming fucking Rudy. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is part of his fault, but uh, uh, you guys also kind of did explain me. I guess it is true that he's not really quick enough to actually dodge that when it's within, like, that close of range. Because he's meant to be at the back and, you know, shooting, but... Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, no matter how you look at it, Paul was a dad, you know what I'm saying? No matter how ever like however he was like you know do, dealing with his family stuff all those problems no matter what like he, at the end of the day he was his pops you know what i'm saying you know he did die fucking really really sadly though not gonna lie that was uh not really what i was expecting to be honest because everything was going really really well you know i'm like okay hell yeah we're doing it you know what I'm saying let's go like the plan everything going out really really well so I, I was not even thinking of any of that shit like literally bro like but you know like the smallest mistake can be a big one you know saying just 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 like that you see it's just just done but i don't know guys like you know like this one you're like okay that's that's bad enough that's already worse enough and uh now you know even zenith is not well so i don't know what's going on there to be honest with you right uh you know i hope that maybe somehow we can get her memory back like uh, something you know because like clearly like that is just a fucked up situation right there you know what i'm saying so hopefully there's something that can be done there and i don't know you know what i'm saying no matter how you really look at it this is also kind of i don't know like it's really hard to kind of uh say anything to him right now but like you know he's the one who got the information about uh, zenith being there but how did he know he said he knew from the adventurers but bro which adventurers bro I don't know, like, you, you get what I'm saying, right? It's a bit fishy, but I don't know. I don't know. You look, uh, you know, nothing's working out right now anyway. So, Rudy fucking, you know, he was enjoying his life. Everything was going good. But, uh, yeah, apparently not anymore. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't know what's going to happen. Obviously, we're going to have to take Zenith because uh, she's clearly not feeling well. Uh, she's clearly not in a good state to the point she don't even remember her own son so yeah we'll see we'll see what happens anyway guys snug in a babble on with that means so let's go ahead and check the new episode out let's get ya yeah brad you know what you were doing man uh, it's good that at least now he's realizing He, he left because he knows that you're capable, man. Don't go around fucking making yourself like, you know, because Paul trusted you. That's why. Exactly. Exactly. No matter how you look at it. Ah, man, I don't know, man. It's going to take him, him a while to even get over this as well. Look, she out here trying to cheer him up. I really do like the way how she calls him Rudy, you know, saying it's fucking cute ass. Come on, bruh. Mm -hmm. She learned about the family too after when she revisited them, right? Oh, 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 he's losing it. She trying to freaking cheer you up, bruh. Yeah, it's true, though. Yo, Roxy out here right now. She knows what state he's in. Damn, Roxy, bruh. Hey, yo, sensei, man. I mean, those are some powerful words. Like, that just shows that she's there to support him, you know what I'm saying? Okay, is that the only way that our Shisho got? Hey, yo, Dame, okay, um, it's a, it, it, it's happening, yep. Uh, not the way how I expected it to be, but I guess, uh, Shisho's out here right now. Not the way I expected, like, literally, I was not. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, yeah, she did it to cheer his ass up, I guess. Damn, Roxy's out here right now, guys. Sheesh! Lucky that she's here, right? Because I don't think anybody else would kind of be able to cheer him up in this day, to be honest. Even Elena, literally. So it's good that Roxy's actually here. She's trying to hide. Make sure nobody sees it. Is that what you tried to? Yeah, well, guess what? Elena knows what happened, alright? 
is, is this the side effect of like uh, she just happened to be trapped in there for a very really long time? Is that why like all the memories, everything's gone? Right, so there's a chance that she could remember. Uh, okay. The lost cause, what the fuck? I thought it, like there would be a chance that she would remember. Damn. Lily as well. Yeah, that's cool. Like, you know, he's got... People like this around him. Man. Yeah. I'm assuming Roxy probably told Elena what happened. Am I right? That's why Elena wanted to have a chat as well. Because obviously Elena would care. Because, you know, she is definitely, Steffi is married to Rudy, so. Uh. Damn! Okay, he's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't really blame him because this man's been praying her the whole life. So I guess. Mm -hmm. But uh, you already did, bro. You, you already clapped. What do you mean? I see. So that was Roxy's plan. I. Hmm. <laughs> now, what do you mean? I mean, he, 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 he generally does love you. Rudy? I think. Yeah, yeah, I'll say. Yeah, she's saying it, bro. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> At that moment, she didn't even know it was him, eh? Yeah, there, there was that too. Exactly. Exactly, that's why. Yeah, yo. I don't know, man. She show. Oh, I can't believe. What you gonna do, bro? What you gonna do? I don't know. This is a tough cause here. I don't know. This is definitely tough. Like I, I was generally not really expecting it, but like Roxy out here just saying it. Oh, we are going through the teleportation. Okay. Okay, we but blindfolded them. All right. Yeah, we back. I'm surprised Elena has not said... Oh, okay, yeah, I was just about to... No, he didn't worship nobody. <laughs> right? Oh, so does that mean... Is she trying to hint out that Rudy can marry Roxy if he wants? Because both of them don't follow. Sylvie don't follow. Rudy don't follow. That's why even Paul was also suggesting something. She Elena said it. Damn! That is true, I. Eh? Yeah, I don't know. But I think that's not really a bad... Yeah, I mean, you, you're, you're a scum too, don't get me wrong, but you, your ass been scum from the freaking child, but yeah. But I think, yeah... Yeah. <laughs> true. Well, that happened without... Come on, right? Oh, yeah, yo, Elena out here right now, actually. Sheesh. Gotta give it to Shisho, though. She, she, she was very open. She literally told him everything. Uh, Shisho. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Oh, God. This is too much happening, bro. Last episode, crazy. Now, look at all this. I don't know, bro. The age difference is too much, bro. Hey, yo, Shisho, how old is that Shisho, bro? She, isn't she 50 or something, bro? Anyway, whatever, bruh. Yeah, come on, get to the point, bruh. <laughs> oh, she sure not catching on. Are you sure? Are you this guy, bro? I I don't know. Okay, she show. She sure know what's up. All right, she shows also respectful. She's also very understanding. Pretty sure Sylphie is definitely understanding. So I don't think she's gonna say no. To be honest with you, so I'm pretty sure she's gonna be like, okay. God damn, okay. I guess it is what it is. Alright guys, quite episode. I'm especially after the last episode. <laughs> better be a 
better be a pretty chill episode but obviously you can see there's a lot going on and i'm not really sure as to what elena told Roxy. my guess is that clearly uh you know after Roxy had you know, slept with my boy i'm pretty sure like elena did explain everything to Roxy, saying that hey look so he's married to her and all this i'm pretty sure that's when she actually told her everything and i'm pretty sure that's when Roxy also told elena everything because she seemed like she knew right you know saying because you can tell when she was having a chat with uh, rudy just then because elena knew everything so i'm pretty sure Roxy told her uh, Elena everything Elena told Roxy everything so it was pretty good there but anyway it really is tragic so according to Elena so there is no hope for uh Zenith I don't know man I really really don't want to believe that you get me right I really don't want to believe there has to be a way there has to be a way there has to be something that somehow can trigger her to kind of remember everything come on right like fucking hell like come on at that point that that's just fucking tragic tragic but anyway Lily is out here it just shows uh, there are a lot of understanding people around him, right? You know, because Lily is willing to just look after Zen, especially because everything that they've done for her. Like, she's very, very thankful, and she's out there, you know. Lily is out there, too. God damn, bro, you got to give it to Lilia. I know whatever happened, but, like, you know, it was for a reason. And look at all this, you know, like, it really is something at the end of the day. But, uh, anyway, you know, Roxy out there, Shisha out there, just... You know, confessing everything, saying everything to Rudy. Yeah, I mean, you know, it really is crazy because, you know, when he did actually save her, uh, she didn't even know it was him. So I guess, you know, no matter how you look at it, it was meant to be type of thing. But you got to realize one thing, right? So we know the man God also said uh, not to go for Rudy. Did he knew this was going to happen, which is why he didn't want Rudy to go? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what I'm starting to think now. Because I'm like, bro, why the hell would man God say not to go? And go fucking, you know, do some stuff with the persona. Like, you, you know what I'm saying, right? So, I don't know. Like, you see, that's still a mystery there. Like, I, I would assume he didn't want him to go is because this was unavoidable. Or, but when you think about it, if Rudy really hadn't even gone, I don't think they would have even gone all the way down, to be honest with you. It was all thanks to him that they could even get to the boss, right? And actually season it. So, I don't know. Would it have actually been better that he had not gone right not currently and uh maybe later because we know like there's no way in hell paul and the others would have still been able because they, they if they could not have gone and conquered that place for like fucking past two or three years they, they, there's no one in hell they would have done it in like another you know so it was all thanks to rudy and the uh, teleportation magic circle that he took with him which helped him to even got down there so i don't know it's quite a you know here and there but it is what it is it's already happened so i'm just hoping like somehow we can uh, you know help out like zenith somehow she'll be okay but other than that guys i'm pretty sure like i said sylphie's definitely gonna be okay because he's very understanding and she knows what type of you know person rudy is so i'm pretty sure she i don't think she's gonna be like no like i'm pretty sure she'll be like okay so like i mean so if you're with the millis then you can't really take more than one wife so but if you're not then you can't so that is uh, something pretty, you know, informative that uh, Elena just told uh, Rudy. And I mean, that that's a permission for from Elena too. So Sylvie's grandmother. So I mean, <laughs> you, know, I, you know, need nothing else other than that, to be honest. But anyway, guys, it's been a hell episode. Uh, you know, it really is uh, an adventure. Like, jobless, I don't know, man. It really is like something. I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. Like, even Rudy himself is realizing the mistakes that he did in the past. And still blaming himself for like you know not being able to change and all that but i don't think he could have done anything there to be honest with you like i said you just gotta respect paul for his decision and uh, no matter how you look at it at the end of the day he was his dad that's pretty much it guys hope you guys do like this small reaction if you guys did make sure you guys smash the like button don't forget to subscribe button and the location bell guys and i'll see you guys on the next one peace i want to see you in slow motion Come stay the night, we can stay up till it's bright In the morning, got the top open